Hi guys, my name is Marina and today we're gonna talk Russian COVID-19 vaccine Sputnik V. Don't be discouraged by my looks. This is my first video for my channel about Russia, so I decided to add a bit of a cultural aspect to it. But it is warm enough in here and I'm gonna put it off. So, my Ushanka is all set there, and we can continue with our conversation. I took a full course of vaccination that consists of two shots. Let me tell you about Sputnik V. It is a vector vaccine based on adenovirus, common cold virus molecule infused with spike protein DNA. Much like Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the first shot of Sputnik V actually is about the same thing, based on 26th serotype. And the second shot is much like Chinese vaccine, based on 5th serotype of adenovirus. So, I took a full course of vaccination and I'm about to tell you how I felt. But before we jump to that conversation, I want to tell you about how Russians react to Sputnik V. Not many Russians are pretty much happy with it, eager to vaccinate. They think that this is some kind of propaganda, Putin's propaganda, and they have a little trust in it. I don't think so. I think that we pretty privileged to have vaccine in first place. I believe in it, in vaccination in general. I understand what it's consisted of, so I have no fears that come from little knowledge. What do you think? Would you vaccinate with Sputnik V vaccine? Please write me in comments below and add some information about where are you writing from? Where are you watching from? It is very interesting to me because it is my first video in English. Share some information about vaccination process in your country. Back to my story. After the first shot of Sputnik V vaccine, I had a bit of a temperature rising. 37.3 degrees Celsius. It's kind of a mild temperature. A bit of a cold symptoms. It took uh, three to four days uh, for the symptoms to completely go away. Also, I have a bit of a sore shoulder, uh, that muscle where vaccine were actually injected in, and I couldn't sleep because of it first night. And uh, I think this is a common consequences of vaccination. Second shot was a bit different. I didn't have temperature during the daytime, but the night after I took vaccination, I had really fever, I had flu symptoms, I was shaking, I was cold, sweating. It was a, a full-blown reaction of immune system. But when I woke up the next day, it was gone, <laughs> I was healthy. I don't know, something about 37 degrees Celsius temperature, it is pretty normal. This is my experience. Uh, my husband had about the same reaction, so I can say it is consistent with our people. Now I can download my Sputnik V vaccination certificate and do nothing with it. There is not much of what I can do with it, because the majority of countries don't want to acknowledge Sputnik V. I think this is a more political decision. Lancet Journal published uh, about Sputnik V and about its sufficiency. There was a bit of a lack of information uh, on clinical trials. Without those protocols, uh, no one can say for sure if this clinical trial can be trusted. But still, Lancet Journal published about Sputnik V. I think it means something anyway. I would like for other countries to acknowledge Sputnik V so vaccinated people of Russia could 
travel freely to those countries uh, such as European Union because we like to do this. Sanctions shouldn't be applied to common people of Russia because we can support uh, our politics, we can be against it, but we shouldn't be punished for being Russians. What do you think? But there's one country I want to visit this year. Uh, it is Georgia, not the state of United States, uh, but the country in the south of Russia. They accept people in with uh, just Sputnik V certificate. There is no need in antibody test. I hope that the other countries uh, would do the same. It isn't mandatory to uh, be vaccinated, so we are free people here too. <laughs> uh, people can choose not to use it, but my opinion and my choice was to do it. Because I'm constantly in contact with my parents and I don't want to bring COVID-19 into my family. For me, there was no choice. It is my duty to protect senior people, such as my parents, who may have very serious consequences. Excuse me for my thick Russian accent in this video. I don't have much opportunities to talk in English. With more practice uh, will come better accent. <laughs> so, if you're interested in day-to-day -day life in Russia, in Russian culture, food, holidays, and how we live here, <laughs> this extremely, extremely serious people, do you think this is a bad neighborhood? <laughs> no, we are a smiling people sometimes, like me. If you want to see this side of Russia, subscribe to my channel, press like button, and see you soon. Bye-bye.